Greetings friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading comes to us from the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 25 through 28, and the quote is by William Mary and Branham from the message entitled, Images of Christ. This message was preached on May 25th, 1959. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And instead of that, we fuss at one another. We despise one another because we don't agree upon certain things. And we go out and and accuse each other. See where, and yet claim to be Christians. I know people who claim to be filled with the Holy Spirit is guilty of such things. Going out and and I, really saying evil things about other Christians when they ought not to do those things. Amen. Now, brother, sister, when we have that kind of spirit, we might as well get in our mind that we're not Christians yet. No matter how much we confess, it's what we possess that counts. Amen. We cannot be Christians and not love all peoples. We might differ with peoples, but Jesus didn't uh, put in and say, when I hear her, all you Pharisees, you're all going to hell and there's no chance for you because of this, that, or the other, because you are a Pharisee. But he went to them and he ministered to them and he helped them. He'd done everything that he could to help them. But today that educations and church membership and ties of the world has brought the church together in such a way until the intellectual has taken the place of the spiritual. You cannot get to God except by the Spirit. There's only one way that a man can come to God, and that's through the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, no man can come to me except the Father draws him first. That's just as true as it can be, Christian. We want to take a little notebook tonight in our heart and count up these things now. Let's think this. Oh, some of us claim to have all the knowledge. We have those who say, now wait, they love to be doctors and holy fathers and so forth. But knowing all of this, if you had all the knowledge, it wouldn't do you any good. Except you was had a spirit in you of love. The Bible said, though I have all knowledge and have not charity, I'm nothing. And what good does our knowledge do when someone say, I wouldn't go to a revival like that because those are not educated people. I I wouldn't associate with them. No matter whether they don't know their ABCs or not, they can know Christ. Certainly. They never can get too low. May God always keep that spirit in me. No matter how how low, what He believes, what He doesn't, what creed, color, what I want to reach a hand out. To help Him. Sure. I want that spirit in me. I will not think I'm better than somebody else. I can stick my chest out and say, all the people stand when I come in. Or I have the greatest campaign of them all. Who am I anyhow? But the clay that God has made. Let me humble myself that His life will be reflected. Let's all Christians feel like that. Knowledge gets us nowhere. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message related content, We invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, 
the letter K, the word worlds.com. Thank you and God bless you.